Hi, what's going on everybody? It's the Super Robot in today we have in front of you none other than the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Alita 1. And you probably noticed and said, wait, there's two boxes up here? Yep, we're gonna talk about that. So let's get into it. So well, here's the problem that I had. So when I got my copy, the stat box, and it could have been anyone. I mean, I, I don't go checking parts to see if the correct weapons are in there. This is the one I opened up. This one belongs to me. Um, it came with two guns for the stunner cons. And it was missing the hat that goes on the top of here. Very disappointing. Sent an email out Friday to Hasbro. I have not gotten response yet, but hopefully I will. So, you know, it's not supposed to come with these guns, which they're cool, but it's still missing the accessory that goes on the top. So what we're going to do is just to make sure, because like I said, I opened this box and this is what I got. Um, we're going to see if the weapons are in this box. So I kind of going to put these on for a second um, just to see if it's in there. And then we're going to go from there uh, so we can just see what their weapons would have looked like if this indeed has the weapons. And I figured out a way to get to it without destroying the packaging because I don't want to destroy the packaging because, you know, um, I just don't want to destroy the packaging I just don't and this packaging is easy to destroy so of course on the back you're supposed to get these silk these clear blue weapons and then the Alita one hat which is supposed to be reminiscent of the G1 um, and of course this is the box on the side so I mean the instructions are here so my instruction aficionados here's what it looks like okay all right so and eventually I'll probably be destroying packaging. So I double check, triple check the packaging just to make sure. Because if the hat was here, I probably would have been okay with the weapons. You know, but sadly. What's he supposed to come with? So. Supposed to come with these. And it kind of sucks. Because literally, you know, this part being so small, it looks like it would have just, you know, it's, it would have been missing. And, you know, when we look at the guns, they are different. See, I mean, they're two different, completely different guns. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, they don't exactly, you can't really put them together or anything like that. But I mean, still, you know, these are the weapons that they came with. Uh, a little disappointed with that and then of course this is where the leader one you know hat goes on top of here so my copy didn't come with them they only came with the two stunticon guns um so i just want to point that out that you know hasbro yep you messed up and you know you fucked up let's just put it that way fuck that so we're going to take these off because these aren't the guns and you know for the rest of the video we're going to be using the weapons that it came with um now as far as i know like i said you know this is just for the sake of the video you know it's already been stated i'm not you know it's no swapping i know that the weapons i got are the wrong weapons so it's mine but we're just going to use these so we can show off what it's supposed to be intended to look like so now that we've gotten that out the way i want to make sure you know that real quick man that's a long time six minutes to talk about hasbro's mess up so this is the car mode and everything and it's pretty cool pretty cool looking car it's got a like that nice i just like the way it looks and i love the rims they're being white the little hat goes here the little pink goes there and the hat will stay on you know if you need it to but personally i just feel like this is just unnecessary to make it look g1 when you don't have any it's there's nothing about this figure that you know screams g1 just it just doesn't you know what i'm saying it's just it's a nice car mode i will give it that but it does roll and we'll get some size uh dimensions here then we're going to show off some other vehicles so let me take this gun off for a second but i like these weapons so uh i had another friend of mine youtuber said i should keep the the stunicon weapons 
But sadly, they're the stunning calm weapons. These weapons I like better. So hopefully, half sword can be a call. So this is approximately four, four inches, four inches long. Yep, four inches long. Car mode. Pretty nice compact car mode. So now we're going to show off um, some other cars here. The Miss Prime. Now. And this is the dead version because I don't transform him. This just makes it easier for times. You can see, you know, they fit well together. I don't know why I have all this hair on here today. And we're not done. We're going to bring in some other female transformers. Um, you know, because they, they deserve to be on deck. And that's going to be the Autobots from the Titans Return and Siege line. Now I do have the other Alita one, but I'm not, I don't like that toy. It's like, there's no comparison, it's terrible. And these are some of the, uh, the Firestar and the very extensive green light. Yes, I I bought this, this toy. I didn't know, I never knew this toy was that expensive until I went on eBay. It's like, what? I paid 20, 26 bucks for this. <laughs> don't know why, I still don't know why. Um, but yeah, here's a uh, fire Nova star or fire star, or whatever you want to call her. And, you know, you can get a comparison idea of what we're looking at here. And you know, these, again, these are power to primes, um, siege, things like that. And you can see here, you know, how they stand and basically taking him off the way for a second. So we won't see him again. Um, we get CDs right here. And I think. This is pretty good, although I know a lot of people would have preferred. I, I never understood the other, the, the the one that's combiner that goes with these. And I have all of them. There's, in fact, I got the uh, the last one, the orange one. I never even opened it. I still have it in a box. I gotta go through my storage facility and check that out. But yeah, I can see this happening. I mean, like, you know, this is more like an Earth style. This would be more Cybertronian type thing. And, and it, it rolls. The only issue I have is the feet. As you can see here, the feet are kind of loose. It's just the way it's made. I'm sure they might fix that with Minerva, but I doubt it because we've already seen Minerva. Um, but it's just a very, just nice, cute car. I, I think it's neat. Transformation is simple enough and everything. But then lastly, we're going to take them out the way and we're going to show off um, the uh, Wal uh, Walmart Alita one here which was the one from of course the war for cybertron series and as you can see here i mean this is like a nice purple soap dish and this is you know now in some ways i do like this better than the rc i think it's the sculpt but still it's it's just not it's just not as good as this one like it's just not so we're going to go ahead and go into transformations. We have spent too much time on this video. And then we're going to be back in, of course, two and two. All right, and we're back by YouTube Magic. Let's go ahead straight into transformation. So the easiest way that I can see to do this is just to unfurl these legs. Unfurl these legs is basically is not much of a transformation. But the legs just kind of uncollapse and the feet kind of just uncollapse. I really wish they had tightened the feet a little bit, but you can see they uncollapse right there and you just kind of see they're connected here by like a tab and you just, well, if you can just un kind of untab it. That's all you need to do. Now you pretty much about almost done. Now the way that the arms transform, they kind of bend in here. You have to actually have the arms like this, turn just like this. And basically just kind of lift it up from there. Now you're not going to like my configuration of how I have her. Ah, not going to worry about that. And unfurl that part. Then after that, what you want to do is bring this back. Now, some people have this in a different configuration. Um, and like I said, I, I think that'll be more or less for Minerva. Um, but I'm going to show you mine in a minute. And that's the way it's going to look. So I pulled mine like this because I know Minerva is coming. So when Minerva comes in, 
she's gonna look more like how she looks on the packaging with the things hanging on. But because this is the leader one, I don't want her to look like that. So I configure mine like that. And after that, what you wanna do is collapse that down. And you can leave that on if you want. Some people might take it off, but you can leave it on. And then just fold that down. After that, take the arms, turn them out like that. And the fist are already turned. Turn the head around. Make sure the legs are locked in place. And then finally, turn the waist around. And this is how I like my uh, Alita one to look. And I think she looks pretty good. And before we go into uh, everything, let's just get some height detail here. And she stands at approximately five inches at their hip. And she, this is, they did a pretty good job with this. You know, should she have been a little bigger? Maybe, maybe override size would have been better, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't do Hasbro's choice, but the head scope is pretty nice. Uh, the articulation is pretty much the same, you know, of all of them. So we're going to go over them. Leg only goes back, but so far at here. So it's only going to do back here. Arm goes out here. She has rotation at the, I'd say, bottom shoulder. She also has a fist rotation. So you can give her that, you know, iconic. Uh, I'm angry. Look, um, make sure to twist the fist around. Make sure that's correct. I didn't do that. And she has waist rope. And I think she can 360. Um, yeah. So pretty much she is on point in my nice. I like these guys. I mean, yeah, I like them. You know, that's, that's different. Nice. And of course, like I said, the hat. The hat can stay on, so you don't really have to take that hat off. It just, I don't know why they did that, but I guess for the sake of whatever they're doing, that's what they wanted to have done. And basically, we're going to go ahead and start with comparisons here. So first things first, we're going to bring out the Fembots, or some of them, not all of them. Now, they don't stand up well. That's one of the things I hated about these. We're going to pause. Be back in two and two again. And then we have her compared to uh, Nova Star and Green Light in their robot modes. And these now these, like I said, their intention was to match up with her Power of the Primes version because she was supposed to be like the torso and head and things of that nature. Like I said, I have it. It's somewhere. Not going to look for it. These two were just nearby and I could snatch them up to when I go to do the review. And um, yeah, they do look good together. I mean, I know somebody's going to say, well, she's kind of smaller than they are, but she'll fit in well. If you think about it, she'll fit in well. So the next thing that we're going to show off is just a little bit of nostalgia for those who, you know, watch the Transformers series and remember when they were uh, becoming Alita One and Optimus Prime. We have none other than her boyfriend, Optimus Prime, and this guy, none other than Alpha Trion. Now, this isn't the Alpha Trion from the, uh, this is a different Alpha Trion. This actually came out years before the other one, but you can see them and they look very good together. Prime, his girlfriend, and of course, they're the guy that fix them up, Alpha Trion. So I think that's a good comparison. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the comparison with uh, Alita One, and then we're gonna give our final, I mean, with uh, Netflix Alita One next, and then get final thoughts. All right, and we're back by YouTube Magic, and I just wanna show her off kinda next to uh, the Studio Series 86 RC. They're the same height, you know, just different scope. We'll take her out the way. And then we'll go ahead and show off the comparison between these two. So basically, this is basically a remold of the Earthrise RC, and this is the new mold. But I have to admit, though, I did like this one. But this one does look more like a leader one. This one was just a better looking <laughs> sculpt of the Earthrise figure, which yeah, the Earthrise figure, eh, it still, it sucks. But this, 
for some reason using the Alita one sculpt it made it look better so uh, I'll go with that so there's nothing else to say nothing else compared to we'll just go straight to final thoughts and I gotta say I like this figure I like this figure I really am impressed uh, with this figure I just wish mine came with the correct weapons had mine came with the correct weapons I'd be happy but sadly I don't want stunner con guns I thought I did at first but no I don't want them. um the execution of the figure for the most part is pretty good the paint apps on are more or less the you know pink and maroon and white side and I think that's pretty good so for Minerva I guess I will be using a different configuration when I get my hands on Minerva, but this is the configuration I want. You can make it any way you want. This is the way I want. Um, other than that, though, I like the figure. I think it's a great figure. I think um, it pleased with it. Um, it does give off a Fenomen vibe, which is good, you know, because it doesn't look like a guy like we'll be doing with our next review as we talk about that. But other than that, yeah. Um, should you get this figure? Yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of Alita 1, yeah, definitely get this figure. If you're not a fan of Alita 1, I definitely understand that. But still, you should pick up this figure just because of the fact that, you know, they really did do a good job making the character more iconic than they did, I think, with the Titans Return or even with the uh, War for Cybertron Netflix uh, series because it is more or less G1. And I know for some of you G1 non purists and movie fans, you're going to be upset. But without G1, there would be no Transformers. The movie and the discussion. So, yeah, go out and get this figure. Great figure, in my opinion. I'm happy with it. It's going to go on a future show. Right now, I don't have a place to put stuff. But other than that, I thank you for watching this review. And again, my name is Super Robot Ed. We'll see you soon with more news and reviews. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.